Men's Bracket Watch, Kentucky, Tennessee Upsets Give Bubble Teams Hope Welcome to Selection Sunday Week. Sports Illustrated will be publishing daily updates of its projected men's NCAA tournament field to keep you up to date on where things stand heading into the selection show. So as automatic bids get locked up, bubble teams fight for their seat at the table and top teams compete for seating, keep an eye out for all of the latest updates from SI. Friday's action did help sort out some of the key decisions the committee faces as it finalizes the field of 68, but there's still plenty of uncertainty as bubble teams keep winning. Some notes to zoom in on from all the action. It was a great bubble day for the SEC, with Texas A&M and Mississippi State securing monster wins over Kentucky and Tennessee, respectively, to gain some breathing room with the committee. Texas A&M's resume is still very bizarre thanks to its five quad three losses, but at this point, I believe the good outweighs the bad. New Mexico keeps adding to its resume, stacking a second quad one win this week by beating Colorado State to advance to the Mountain West title game. That should be enough to put the Lobos into the dance, with the worst case a trip to Dayton. The Lobos can remove any lingering doubt by winning the Mountain West's automatic bid Saturday. It's a similar story for Colorado, which beat Washington State on Friday. That may not quite be an elite win, but it does bolster a Buffalo's resume that was lacking at the top. Colorado should feel good about where it stands regardless but could avoid any speculation about a trip to Dayton with a Pac-12 title win over Oregon. All this positivity was bad news for the Big East bubble. Seton Hall's hopes, after one seeming like a near lock, are now very dicey, with the Pirates leaning on their win over UConn in December to try to stay in the field. St. John's played well against UConn Friday in the Big East semifinals, but there isn't a ton of substance in the Red Storm's 20 wins. Providence, meanwhile, is in rare company among bubble teams with six quad one wins and no bad losses, but the Friars are still right on the bubble and could well get left out. It's hard to believe all three could get left out, but one or maybe even two is certainly possible. If the committee was looking for a reason to leave out Virginia, the Cavaliers opened the door by collapsing late against against NC State. The resume metrics still love Virginia, but Yuva doesn't exactly pass the eye test and lacks top-end wins.